one of the great challenges in this world is knowing enough about a subject to think you're right. I skipped the ad on, <laughs> on my YouTube link. Good morning, everybody. Uh, I hope you're well. Um, we're going to start in just a few minutes. I'm just going to go get my tea this morning, and then uh, we're going to get going with some chicken fat, and uh, then focus on our six questions uh, for the week, so we can really uh, start the week off with some energy and some focus. All right. Uh, so, about five minutes. We're going to start. I see you in a little bit. day off right uh, working together so that we can uh, wake up our bodies and then we can focus our minds and our hearts and get ourselves uh, a little focused for the week sound good all right uh, we have a couple more minutes and then we're gonna start and I look forward to it Hydrated, and you have some water and uh, 
or some tea this morning, and then we can get this party started. There's so many screens going on. It's driving me crazy. You know how I love technology so much. <laughs> Screens go away and just focus here. That'll be the way to go. <sighs> All right, my friends, just about half a minute more, and then we're going to get our chicken fat on. If you don't know what that is, if you don't remember what that is, you're going to find out very soon. Robert Preston's going to wake us up. And then we're gonna uh, have a nice meditation and focus in on our six questions of the week, uh, which are super, super important for us. All right, all right, my friends. So I'm gonna quickly say a good morning to everyone. Okay, now, first things first. We're gonna wake up our thymus gland. Uh, I've been forgetting to do this uh, in our little meditations. I do it every morning in the shower, so I get to do it twice, but I'm happy to do it with you again. Uh, so remember the thymus gland is right here underneath the sternum in front of the heart, and it helps uh, keep away the viruses and the germs and the bad things that are, you know, it's our body's natural defense system. So we have to wake it up every morning, say, come on, let's get going. And we do that with vibration. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take a deep breath and we're going to go on a, uh, we're going to go through all the vowels, A, E, I, O, U, and we're going to give a little pound of our chest, but don't like, you know, hurt yourselves. You're going to use the flat part of the, of the finger, not the knuckle, and you're just going to lightly give it a little wake up call. Okay. All right. So here we go. <clears throat> Ready? Breathe it in. A on A. <sighs> Oh, 
Well, something must be working with the chicken fat because I've been able to hold that note out for the whole time for the past few times we've done it. So congratulations to me. Congratulations to you. <laughs> oh, let's take a moment to rehydrate and breathe. Oh. And then we're going to do our meditation, which I very much look forward to right now. I am sweaty and gross. <laughs> so, ah, thank goodness for morning tea. I will tell you that. Oh, here we go. All right, my friends. So you remember our six questions that we focus on every uh, Monday morning. It's our way to get us focused on the week. And make sure that we're uh, sane and ready to go. Oh, thank you, Lee. I am glad you like chicken fat, because I tell you, I know a lot of the kids are like, oh, chicken fat again. <laughs> but I'll tell you, it gets you moving, which is really awesome. All right. Okay, my friends. So, make your sacred space, wherever that may be. It could be sitting on a hard pillow, with your feet crossed, or it could be in a chair. Whatever is easiest for you. Oh, my head's cut off. <laughs> da, da, da. There we go. All right. And by creating that sacred space, sacred space uh, and if you have your talismans, uh, your touchstones, as I like to call them, just sort of make your space complete. It helps to. Give yourself a visual of uh, your boundaries and, and where you can be just you and you don't have to have the other influences, right? Make sure it's exactly the way you want it to be. It can be different every time, you have different talismans, whatever means something to you. Uh, see, now I feel complete because I've created my space. I'll tell you, it's one of the greatest things about it, one of the most important things about starting your meditation is to make sure your space is just the way you need it to be for your individual focus. So, awesome, awesome. Let's oh, begin today together. All right. Imagine that there's a nice little fishing wire just off the back of your head, elongating your spine, nice and straight, erect. Everything's in line. Take your hands, put them on your thighs, you can put them down, up in your lap, wherever you feel the most comfortable and the most connected. Right? So, take my watch. I always take my watch up or try to. So, if we're on time, time is in many ways the enemy of meditation because when you get time in your head, then so often you won't allow yourself to fully meditate to worry about it going on too long or maybe it's going on enough. But it doesn't matter, right? Okay, let's breathe together so we can sort of calm down and focus in. Close your eyes, or focus on a spot on the floor. Let's breathe in on five and we'll breathe out on seven. Here we go. Breathe in on five, four, three, two, one, hold it. Out on seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Breathe in on five, four, three, two, one, hold it. And out on seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And one more time, and this time when you breathe out, put a nice sigh of relief and let all of that tension go along with it. Breathe in on five, four, three, two, one. Hold it. And sigh out on seven. Six, five, four, three, two, one. And just let your breath go normally. 
notice it's probably a little slower than it was before, which is good. Your heart rate is slowing down. Just focus on your breath for a moment. I'm try to give you nice long uh, moments of silence so that you're able to focus on your breath and focus on your questions. But always remember that you have your uh, power word, your uh, no harm word, which means I am not that. You are a word that when the monkey mind comes in or when you know your distracting thoughts come in or when negative energy comes into your mind, your heart, you say, no, not now. I am not that. And you can focus back in on your breath. You always have that at your disposal. So just sit silent and focus on your breath. six questions at the beginning of every week to start off our week correctly in good nature. What am I grateful for today? What am I grateful for today? Focus in on that question in your breath for a while. Second question, right now this is so important that we do this. Many people are very lonely right now. So your question is, who am I connecting with or checking in on today? Really broaden your idea of who that might be. Who am I checking in on or connecting with today? Thank you. 
Third question. What am I letting go of today? Sometimes that's one of the hardest to answer. What am I letting go of today?
take a moment, put one hand on your heart, one hand on your stomach. And be grateful that you did this for yourself today. Focus in on the breath and the gratitude. Just a little. Take your time going back into the room. Think your eyes open. Bow to yourself. Bow to each other. Stay, my friends. Thank you for joining me again this morning. Uh, the first of the week. I hope it is a great week. Uh, you started it out right. You started it by focusing in and by working out. So, congratulations to you. Thank you for being here. And uh, I hope that your week is stunning. And I look forward to seeing you tomorrow morning. You have a good morning. Morning. Thank you very much. I'll see you in the morning. <laughs>